Go. Hello, friends. It's so good to see you again. And today we're, we're talking about a country in the continent of South America. So we're in North America, and the continent below us is South America. And in that continent, there is a country called Brazil that has magnificent rainforests where all these tropical plants grow. And uh, one of the great plants in the rainforest is a K-pop tree that is larger than any other tree. And we're going to read a book about that. So come on with me and I'm going to read you The Great K-pop Tree, A Tale of the Amazon Rainforest by Lynn Cherry. So let's come over here and we're going to open the book to the great K-pop tree. Here's North America and here's South America. And we're going to be reading about the great rainforest and what one man does. This is the great K-pop tree. Two men walked into the rainforests moments before the forest had been alive with the sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men. The larger man pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. The smaller man took the ax and struck the trunk of the tree. The wood of the tree was very hard. The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his neck and face. Soon he grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. Before he knew it, the heat and hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A poa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down to where the man was sleeping. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear, Senor, this is a tree of miracles. It is my home. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in this kapok tree, and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the kapok tree. Senor, we have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away. A two can and a macaw and a cock of the rock flew down from the canopy. Senor, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and see what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Where once there was life and beauty, only smoldering ruins remain. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of the leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped in the man's ear, Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down the great kapok tree. <gasps> a jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the light and shadows, no one had noticed him. He was camouflaged. Now he leapt down. He growled in the senor's ear. Senor, the kapok tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Four tree porcupines swung down. Senor, do you know what we and animals need in order to live? Oxygen. And senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you'll destroy 
that which gives us life. Several anteaters climbed down. The unstriped anteater said, Senor, you're chopping down this tree with no thought for the future. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his children who must live in a world without trees. A three-toed sloth began climbing down. Only now did she reach the ground. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, what will you feast your eyes on? A child from the Yanomamo tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over and murmured, Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child and all around him staring. They were the creatures who depended on the great kapok tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air, suspended from the great kapok tree. The man smelled the perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor, but he heard no sound, for the creatures were silent. The man stood and picked up his axe. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree. Suddenly, he stopped. He turned and looked at the animals and the child. He hesitated. Then he dropped the axe and walked out of the rainforest. So the man decided not to cut down that beautiful tree because it was a home to so many. What a good thinking man he was. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.